how to divide and break up type in Illustrator. Well, first thing is, you can't break type up unless you expand it. So object menu and expand, that's gonna be a key thing. But also the key command throughout this is object, path, and divide objects below. But I've created a shortcut. So edit menu and keyboard shortcuts, go to the menu commands, and then just break that down to object and then path, and you'll see I've got a command K, or control K if you're on the PC. Click OK. Now, once you've actually got that set up, like I say, key things are out, all these objects in here have all been expanded. It's not live type at all. So now, just gonna create a path, and I'm just gonna go with basic rectangle, just drag that over the top, and the key thing here is the top path. Top path is selected, all the rest not selected. And then just run the command, which is Command K. And I'm gonna do that all the way through Command K. So Command K again. Command K. Command K. And I'm gonna repeat that with different, different shapes. And again, like I say, just quickly show you object, path, and divide objects below. Now I could use circles, stars, also use pen tool, curvature tool, and many other shapes as well. And you can do that over and over again. Just keep doing Command K, or obviously the divide objects below. And I'm using the line tool, or well, the pen tool here, but I could use a line tool as well. And again, just Command K, and then curvature tool, just apply some points. Just go around there, and once you've done that, Command K. Now, you can see it's all broken up, but you need to go to the object and ungroup. Object and ungroup, and then just drag the various parts away from the, the initial type. And you can change the color, maybe add effects. And of course, you can continue to break the design up. So if you decide, I want to break this even more, once you've actually moved everything out, you can then go back and apply additional sort of lines, pen tool, etc., etc. Now, I'm going to use a, a single character here. So again, it's been expanded, and I'm just going to drag a line tool over that design, and then Command-K. And again, the same, Command-K. And you can see straight away, you now you're breaking this design up, and you can apply it over and over again. A pen tool, curvature tool, line tool, stars, circles, and many more. Again, once you've finished, Command-K. In this case, I'm using the pen tool just to create a more jagged design. Command-K again. Now, object, exactly the same as before, object and ungroup. And then what you can do, you can move parts of the path. Then you can also change the color. Maybe make it orange. You can apply effects. And you can just drag those out like that. And then you've got a perfectly fragmented design. Now you can also do the same with much more type. So you've got a whole sentence here. What you can do, it's been expanded, of course, the text. You can just use a single line. So just select a single line, one line, and then apply Command K again, or divide objects below. Now it's not so particularly easy to select the individual parts in this case. So many of the characters will not have any breakup at all, but there will be a few of the characters in this that you can just select, again, object, ungroup, just select individual characters, and some you can move, some you will find will just suddenly break apart. So if you do it three or four times, 10 times, so you can see there, the end is slightly broken. So it's not so clear when you've actually got a whole sentence or a whole paragraph. I'm just going to expand that out just to make it a bit more obvious. Again, just there. And again, deselect, so there's nothing selected, and just put a line across it. And again, Command K, or divide objects below. 
Now you can just see you can break apart the letters. It's a bit clearer there. And it's got slightly bigger letters. Right, I'm going to go to the next one. Now, you can use lines. You can use the line tool. That's a really useful one. So just go to the line tool. Just drag across, straight across. And again, Command-K, Command-K. And you do it repeated times. Now, you don't have to move the, the different parts. What you can do, you can also just delete the parts. So you, can, you don't have to, once you've expanded it, once you've ungrouped it, I should say, what you can then do is just remove the individual parts. So just select all of that. Object, ungroup, and then select that, and then just delete, delete, delete. And you can create all kinds of very unusual, broken apart type. Just down there. That's it. So lines. Now, what you can also do, I'm just going to go to the next one, you can apply effects. So you can break the type, type up in numerous ways and apply effects to each part. So again, I've got some type, and I'm just going to use circles and other shapes. Again, Command-K, Command-K all the time. Use a start, Command-K. Again, another one there. And you can repeat this numerous times. You can put 50, 20, 500. Now, what you can do then, ungroup. And then, of course, what you can do, you can move the parts. You can resize them, color them. I'm just going to change the color to red for the whole lot. And also give an outline. So you can see it a little bit clearer. So now I've got that. What you can do then is maybe make that 3D, apply, extrude. You can see extrusion there. And again, effect, apply extrude. Go to the last one, apply extrude. You can also use blurs, effect and blur. Create all kinds of different things because there's a whole load of effects available within Illustrator. Maybe a drop shadow. Click OK. And as I say, you can resize, you can rotate, you can drag and much, much more. So you can create all kinds of really, really wonderful, beautiful, and odd type. Now, you can also do the same thing with this divide objects below with such thing outlines. So you just got outlined type. And again, a line across it. Command K again. And you can repeat that numerous times. So you can create all sort of... Now, each of these parts will be broken apart. You can use ellipse, or again, pen tool, curvature tool. Again, object, ungroup. And then what you can do, you can go to maybe add brush strokes to it, give various stroke widths, width profiles, and many, many, many more. And you can live create some really unusual type just by simply changing the line width for each of those segments. Now, got multiple bits of type here. You've got type, type, and type, and type. What you can do then is just apply maybe a circle or some other design across top, and you can do exactly the same. So Command-K again, or divide objects below. You don't have to use Command-K, of course. I've just created that one. You could use Command-L or command X, whatever you want to use. Command K for cut. Sort of. Now I've created a quick zigzag across that. And again, just done the Command K. What you can then do, select all of those and object, ungroup. And then again, you can just select the individual parts of the type. And you can repeat that numerous times. Make a whole jumble of type letters. Now, just going to go over to a gradient field type. And again, it's been expanded already. You've got a gradient in there. 
And again, I'm just going to quickly go across with the line tool. Again, Command K, Command K, and see what happens now. It's sort of instead of, at the moment, what you can see is the gradient is actually applied to each of the individual parts. So you create this really like sort of nice sort of crystalline, fragmented sort of design. It's really quite an unusual sort of type design. And you can create that very quickly. So you don't even have to break the type apart. You can just apply this and you can see sort of padded design, I guess, as well. And every time you do it, you can see the gradient is applied to each of the parts. Now, at this point, I'm just going to go to Object and Ungroup. So what you can do, you can also, of course, still move the design. You can still move the parts. And you can see the individual gradients in all of them. So I'll just put it back together again. What you can do, you can apply the gradient to the whole lot again. But, of course, they're still all individual parts. And you see, it suddenly builds up all those gradients. And, of course, what you can do then, you can move the design. You can, of course, change the gradient direction individually for each of those parts. So you can create sort of one going off one direction, one going off the ex other direction, and so on and so on and so on. So you can create some very nice sort of graduated effects. And of course, you don't have to just use grayscale. You can use many other colourful gradients. Now, here, I've got some transformed type. So it's got a live effect applied to it. So it's been rotated, it's been moved, and it's been scaled. It's a live effect, so it's live all the time. And what you can do then is you can just apply a line across. But then it doesn't work. What happens, of course, is it creates the live effect for that line as well. So what you need to do is go to your appearance, and that's in Window. You can see the problem. So Window and Appearance. And then just go over to the right side menu. And just go down there and just say... New art has basic appearance there. And then when you apply that line, so it doesn't do that sort of repeat effect. And then, of course, you can do the Command K at that point. Just apply it over there, Command K. And you can see the breaking apart for all of the parts of this design. And you can repeat that over and over again, fragment it in numerous ways. And you can see the fragmentation happening there for all the other parts of the design. Now, if you want to actually change the colour or do something else with it, what you have to do is use the isolation because there is a slight problem with this. So, all right. Now, once I've finished that, I'm just now going to go and say, oh, I want to change the colour. I can't ungroup. So, object ungroup, it, it removes the effects. So not so useful. But what you can do, you can double click on each of those fragments. Just double click on it and go into isolation mode. So you're into isolation mode. And then what you can do, you can change the colour then. So you're just going to make it blue. And unfortunately you can't see it because of the other things covering up. But oh, you just see one bit of blue appearing there. So let's go there, blue there. And you can see the blue appearing. Double click on that bit. Pink. And you can see the pink just going behind now. So you can you can see it. It's just you need to go into isolation mode to do that. And again, you can move the parts and that will be repeated. If you can see it, of course, because it's under underlined. So, but it's there, that rotation, that change. So you can see all the changes there. Now, that's it. Just run through most of them. Just to quickly sum up. Key thing here is... Object menu, path, and the divide objects below. Just use the top path. That's the key thing. And then go to the menu, object, and divide objects below via the path menu. Of course, keyboard setup shortcut is the best way of doing this. It makes it just so much quicker. So command K again. Well, I hope you found this of interest. Uh, please subscribe. Always adding new tutorials all the time for Illustrator other products. And also, please add some comments. Also, dislikes, likes, etc. Always appreciated. And I hope you found this really of use. Thank you much.